How's everyone been? Lovely day. Been outside in the garden. I've not warmed up today. This is going to be my first shoot of the day. It could go horribly wrong. Um, yeah, it's been great. I'm knackered. Been doing some uh, tearing up some old decking to put some new decking down. Even though I've got no decking, so I've got to reuse the old decking. So just give it a clean up, move it. Right, let's have a look. So, Ryan, a beaver bug with a top colour smoke, bottom colour violet grape with a gold mix, 0.2 silver glitter throughout. You can do that. Silver, you got it. Who's here? Hey, dude, how you doing? Let's get rid of that one. Uh, Joel, good to see you. Uh, Ralph, I'm doing good, man. Uh, Chris Stubbs, second one in. Motor oil, red flake. Chris, you got to let me know what uh, what lure you're doing, man. Ryan, you got here in time, so uh, you didn't have to work too late then. Uh, Rob, are you and Jude watching, or is it just yourself? Uh, finesse fry with garlic. Ooh, we have to talk about the the uh, flavourings uh, in here. So, finesse fry, might well red. Oh, Chris, what? Uh, what size? Finesse fry. Two, three, four inch. Ian, no worries man. It's, uh, there are secrets but I won't keep them all. Um, but if you want to get into this, i help you out. Uh, that, if I remember, I've got another thing to let you guys know about. Um, and it's more to do with helping the guys that are just getting into the hobby so we'll go that way um, okay. sorry Eni just missed out Jason nice to see you here man uh, Mark Lindsay good to see you Jim Starr good to see you wow wow that, whoa my word there's so many people here um, right tell you what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to get straight into it and try and come back to some comments um, and some questions. So if you do have a question, uh, actually send me a message via Messenger. And I've got a computer down here, Messenger's all fired up, and we'll go through it that way. Make it a bit easier than, rather than me go, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, which we'll see. Right, so Beaver Bug, it was Beaver Bug, yeah, it was, it was Beaver Bug, so I've got that one in there. Don't know how the airflow is today, so uh, I may be wearing a respirator. Um, we'll see on the first cook up. Uh, I've had a bit of a shake up already, but give another one again for those guys that haven't seen the previous live streams. Where you been? Uh, for those, uh, for those guys, if you shake it up, you need to get the air out. Um, so you need a degassing chamber. So we do that now. Okay. 
Right, I had a little bit of a uh, change last day, so a lot of you might have seen on the group before, I was asking for some CNC guys. Uh, the first thing I needed making was some cooling blocks, which have been made, which is now my cooler, which is running water through some blocks, keeping the moulds nice and cool, means I can do some big old shoots. So I've uh, got a few messages come through. Uh, Oh, Chris, it's really kind of you. Like what Chris has done, he's just said that he'll give up his um, his lure choice for Ian. So I will have to go through. That's really good of you, mate. Thank you. Um, so let's have a look. Four inch. Finesse fry. So. Ian, uh, four inch finesse fry, green with black and silver. Uh, so we'll do a watermelon uh, with black and silver flake. How's that for you, Ian? Hopefully that's alright. Uh, four inch fry and watermelon. Red and black. Cool. Uh, Right, two minutes each, so we'll see how that goes. It was 75 mil of, uh, oh, that's going to be annoying. 75 mil of plastisol, um, and we'll give it two minutes. Normally, uh, 100 mil takes two minutes plus 30. This should be okay in about two minutes. Um, but the good thing about the plastisol from Lure Factors, it doesn't burn, especially in the, uh, the extra soft that I use. Go to the messengers. Uh, Jason, no, I can't. <laughs> um, that's not going to work, is it? Hey, Jude, how you doing, dude? Right. Wow, loads of people now. Um, casting, wow, I, I really want to get out in my garden and do a bit of pitching, um, practice that, get get back in the swing of it, get that pitch going nice and uh, flat to the floor uh, and when, when I practice my pitching I actually pitch under chairs, the garden chairs, so I'll get it to go under and try and hit a target the other side, so that's because I've got no time, I've got enough, too much time in my hands. Uh, Ryan, I'll try and get your uh, lures done in the next 10. I've got some guys from over from Belgium. Peter, how you doing? Uh, Carl, thank you very much. Just seen your post about uh, the skirts where someone was asking, uh, showing a video of using tubes, which is a great idea actually, cutting down your tubes to uh, use the skirts. Do, do, do. Matt, thank you very much, although I'll have to remember to suck it in because it's getting bad, it's getting bad. Right, let's get on it. Smoke. Uh, oh, I look great, Mason. Nah.
Okay, so one micro is cooking hotter than the other. It's the first one today, so it's not warmed up. Um, but if you squill like this, you can actually get one side or one to cool down a bit faster than the other. So I'll see if I can get it that way. Three fifty each. Slightly different colour this violet grape. Um, all my others they come from a place called Little Works out in America. Uh, this one actually comes from uh, America again. Uh, it's from a company called MF. Okay. Uh, for those that want to do some stuff online, uh, a lot of the stuff I get is from a company called LurePartsOnline.com. Really good shipping rates. Um, easy, easy to do. Okay, well that's just getting up to temperature. Uh, let's have a look, any more, any more. No one on the messenger, so for those guys that uh, are just joining, if you want to send me a question uh, that I can repeat, Jason, thank you, uh, send it on Messenger, direct messenger me, um, and we'll get, we'll get that way. Um, cool. Wow, this is going to be really difficult <laughs> to keep up with what everyone's asking. Um,
Not vibing yet, not vibing. Making some uh, silly mistakes on the microwaving. I think I've actually got less in the violet at the moment, so that's cooking up quicker. But it is what it is. Right, give that a second and uh, we'll get that get that demolded so Ryan can go to work. Hey Chris, how you doing? Uh, we're doing a beaver bug for Ryan Dabs. Um, she is a smoke top and a violet grey bottom with silver and gold flake throughout. Uh, so for those guys that are just tuning in, um, or oh, haven't seen it before, the beaver bug is quite a big lure. I say big, it's 3.25 inches, but it can take uh, one mil uh, glitter. And actually, looks good with some one mil glitter, um, but not too much, for, in my opinion. Uh, the smaller the bait, you want to not put too much uh, big glitter, beef being one millimeter. Don't put too much in, otherwise, you're going to lose quite a bit of. Uh, life like this to the to the look. Alright, let's get it open. Just checking because I didn't have enough, uh, I had a little bit less of the violet 
in there. So just making sure that there's no problems, no air bubbles, looking good. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, so that is the violet side. You might be able to see in this one here, just where it changes to a bit of a blue color. You might not. And there's a smoke with some heavy, heavy gold in it. So Ryan, I hope you like them. I'll send them out with your order. Right, let's get the, uh, the other mould ready to go. Right, four inch, there's that, there's that. Four inch fry. Okay, this one's slightly trickier um, because it's a big, I say it's big, it's, it's a big lure uh, compared to what I do normally. And one of the problems with a lot of swim baits is that the tails don't form fully. Um, so, to help with that, I will be using the cooling blocks and uh, I put the mold in there so it's nice and cool so it starts to set up quick, it doesn't have time to shrink. So quick. Okay, reading 77 Fahrenheit on there. And I've got the blocks down to 72. So that should be nice and cool and do the job. Uh, hey Joblin, hi hey dude, how you doing? Yeah, everyone's thinking about fishing. Everyone's thinking about fishing. Uh, Drew, good to see you. Uh, who else was out? I just saw uh, Gaz Jones, good to see you dude. Right, that's that. 150ml, two and a half minutes. We'll see how it looks after that. Uh, again, for those guys that just come in, if you any questions to me, uh, I can't really see them all because there's so much chat. Uh, send me a message and I'll answer some questions. If not, sit back watch, hopefully I won't mess it up, although it might make some good uh, viewing. Do, do, do. don't need that, single colour. Ah, yeah. So, the guys that are going to do this uh, want to take up the hobby. Um, one of the things that I do have is after each shoot, I have what we call pucks left over. 
So if someone wants them, um, I'll do them by uh, by the kilo, by a box. It'll be random. I'm not going to colour sort them. Um, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, but if you want them, send me a message. Uh, just pay the postage, um, and you can have them. That I do. Uh, oh, Jason. Yeah, you might like that. Um, the seconds box. The seconds box. I'm, I'm not messing up so much. Um, all these custom orders. I'm not doing too bad. The seconds box is. Oh, it's got some finesse worm in it. Yeah, it's not looking too healthy, really. So, oh Ryan, I'm glad you like it. That's always good. I did mess up. I did mess up. How cool is that? Had the wrong mould. I wonder why it said top. <laughs> Don't do tops on these. Right, again, let that cool down a bit. Watermelon going on. Uh, so those that don't know, uh, one of the custom orders that Grant did um, was an absolute pain in the arse. Um, and it wasn't nice doing, so he just sent me a message saying he needs to fill the box up with all the seconds from that. That would fill up quickly.
just contemplating whether it needs big red flake. I think it does, so I'm going to heat it up now because the big red flake uh, is really heat sensitive. So if I put it in now, I probably won't have enough temperature for it to to shoot right. But if I put it in and then if I then have to reheat it, it's wasted. So I'm going to reheat now, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Okay, already I've seen that that cooling block is doing its job. This mould, it leaks out the back to try and get the tails formed. Uh, and what normally, at this temperature, would keep pouring, keep pouring, keep pouring out. Um, it's nice and cool. So hopefully, we got a perfect one, which doesn't happen very often with this mould, not going to lie. Um, So that's quite a test. I've got a mould that doesn't shoot perfect, and I've got the red, which you've got to be really careful with. So, Chris Cullen, all the way from South Africa. How are you doing? I saw your video today with the um, pitching into the cup with the 17 points. I'm going to try and beat you. Of course I am, but I might not. <laughs> what, uh, Chris? What weight was that jig you were throwing? Uh, Grant, Grant, uh, Grant's just asked a question, what glitter colours would and size would you recommend for uh, an all clear FFS? Um, personally I think a clear is a good natural imitator. You can go clear, zero glitter and you'll catch fish. You can also have clear, um, I would do like the, uh, the smoke shad that I showed, the the one with the red uh, in it that's on the Facebook group. Um, I'm going to call that Smoking Hot. How cool is that? Or maybe Smoking Valentine, but don't know about that one. Um, so anything on an FFS, I would always, in a clear, I would put black 1mm, black 0.4, so a black mix, and then whatever highlight colour that you want, be it blue, green. Um, I'm probably going to do a smoke green in fact, I'm going to just do a smoke green tonight. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, we've just made these. Let's hope these go right. And I'm going to fire it up again um, and do a smoke green. How's that sound? Yeah? Cool. Rob Lloyd, good to see you.
Waggy. Hey, how you doing? Uh, so guys, just come on, Paul Wagstaff. Uh, knew him from my army days. Uh, good to see you here, dude. Good to see you. the tails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now when you guys ask for a custom four inch finesse fry, I'm not going to swear so much because for the first time that is a perfect pour of all ten straight out of the bag. So that's watermelon, red and black flake. I think I like that. So, cool. Yeah. Okay, so with it being Easter, uh, Ian and Ryan, the next post day is going to be Tuesday, so hopefully you'll get those on Wednesday. Um, sounds good. Right, let's do that. Uh, I know you said, but I'm in a bit of a smoke phase at the moment. Um, so we'll do a smoke. Let's do a smoke three inch, three inch fry. Um, uh, yeah, smoke with green in a three inch fry. And while we're playing, let's do a finesse worm at the same time. Super finesse worm, three inch version. Really happy with how that's working out, by the way. Um, plus, it sounds like a water feature. It's lovely. Yeah, I reckon Chris uh, just said they those last ones that watermelon red, Xander bait in the summer. Yeah, I reckon. Oh, Ian, no worries, man. No problem. 
Right, any questions on the messenger? No. Okay, cool. Right, that's that. No product placement, but I need this. Okay, questioning on messenger. Uh, if you haven't got a degassing chamber, what do you do? Um, okay, there's a couple of options. Uh, don't shake so much. Okay, what you're going to get is uh, if you stir your your bottle, whatever you got, do it nice and easy, do it gently. Then you can let it stand for a little bit. All right, so you've still got a lot of time in between uh, the resin inside settling. So you can let it, give it a swirl up, shake up, and let it stand. The next thing is that when you cook it, you can put, if you stir too much too soon, um, then you're gonna put bubbles in because as it's setting up, it's gloopy, and as you stir it, that gloop takes air bubbles into it. So be careful when you're stirring. The other time when you put uh, air bubbles into your plastic is when you're adding glitter. So you saw there, I took a long time with that uh, watermelon uh, because as I was putting so much glitter in, it's taking air into, the, into it with it. So you've gotta be very careful of how much air you're putting in at every step of the process. Um, one of the ways you can do that is you can add your colour. If you know how much colourant you want, you add your colour before you heat it. Um, some colours you've got to be careful with, some colours are heat reactive, so you don't want to be cooking that colour. Uh, June bugs one of them, and uh, who else? Watermelon. Watermelon's quite bad. If you, if you cook it, it goes more of a browny colour. Uh, June bug, if you cook it too much, it goes black. Um, but that's about it. If you do get bubbles come through, you see me with the torch, that's hitting the surface to get the bubbles off the surface. So as they're coming up, I just hit them and they're gone. Um, yeah, that's about, there are ways of doing it. Um, let it sit, so once you cook it, let it sit. Um, let the bubbles come out and actually hit it with the blowtorch. So hopefully Ian, that, that answered your questions. Okay, so that came out and it was reading uh, 380. So I gave it a stir, so the top layers are 380. I gave it a stir, the resin is still forming. So as I stirred it, it went all the way down to 320. You've got to get to 350 for it to set up correctly, otherwise you get sticky baits. And that, no one wants a sticky bait. Oh, Paul, how much watermelon did I use? Ooh, um, enough to taste. There's a few secrets I'm not going to give out. Watermelon is going to be one of my colours. Um, all my uh, all my colourants, um, I know how much it needs per 100 mil per litre. Um, I've done a lot of leg, leg work on that. It's something I will keep secret, but just keep adding until you get the right colour. Uh, that's why if you add it before you cook, it's always a surprise. If you add it as it's cooked, you can get the right colour that you want. Um, and a top tip to do is to get your knife, dip your knife in the plastic, I'll do it with this, dip your knife in the plastic and then what comes out on a knife is the colour you're going to get, mostly, and then the, the glitter density that you're going to get. So I'll do that now 
bring the knife over, try not to burn myself, um, so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so hopefully you can see this, as you see there, that's just, that's how it's going to look, hopefully, in the bait. Okay, so a little bit of green, more black. Because I'm doing the finesse, super finesse worm, I don't want a uh, big green flake in it. Just thinking as I was shooting that, how cool would that have looked with a little bit of copper? Eh. Oh well, so that'd be like a little perch imitation with glitter. Awesome. So black, green, and a little bit of copper. So next time, I'll add a bit of copper. Let's have a look how these went. Well, that's almost an hour. Work. Okay, so just check that, make sure there's no bubbles. No, that's all good. Okay, so the emerald smoke in the super finesse world. I think that looks pretty damn cool. As a drop shot, that's going to be awesome, huh?
Uh, I've just seen a uh, question about core shot. Uh, get back to me in a minute, Ryan. Okay, so it doesn't have copper, but I'm thinking it's kind of a sexy little colour there. There we go. So, emerald smoke. Loving this smoke. Loving it. So, right, question. Uh, okay. Everyone's getting really weird friend requests. Um, right. Uh, sorry, it was Jason asked about the core shop because uh, I've had the same question from, from Ryan, so sorry about that. Um, core shop, for those that don't know, it's. Um, it's a way of making a stick or a worm or a swim bait and it has this core of different colour going through the middle. It's really, it's, it's quite impressive to see. Um, I stay away from it because it's labour, um, labour intensive. If I'm doing a competition, um, so putting some lures out there to, to win, then I might do a core shot. But there's a lot of guys doing core shot right now, so it's nothing, it's nothing new. Um, the core shots that people do, they're great, especially with a clear clear outer, and you get this line running through. So one of the ones I have done was a, a rainbow trout, where I had a, a pink bit in the middle, and then I did a laminate, so the top was a light green pumpkin uh, green with black flake, and then the bottom was uh, with some highlight powder, so it had a little silver sheen to it with some small black flake as well. Um, I don't have them here, but if anyone's interested, I can make some up. Um, so yeah, core shots, they're really good, but they're time, time, uh, they take time because you've got to shoot the mold twice. You've got to um, demold it, take everything apart. Um, there you go, thank you. Uh, you've got to demold it, take everything apart, and then shoot it again, but then you've got to make sure that you shoot it hot enough so that the core goes through, um, and if it doesn't, it's messed up, you've got to start again. So for production, it's not something that I do. Um, but I hope that hopefully answers your question. Looks great though, looks great. Um, Peter Man, how you doing? Richard Macy, um, Chris Stubbs, away from fishing, I've got a Springer Spaniel who jumps in the water while I'm fishing. How can I stop him from doing it and laughing at me? Don't take him. That's it, don't take him. Um, I had a dog that um, he would retrieve my spot. Yeah, when I was doing that sort of stuff, um, which was awesome uh, for the first 10 minutes. Um, and then it, I broke, he bit through the spot. And then when I was trying to cast out, he's trying to chase the lead as it goes out. Or then you got this, or you've got float fishing, you've got a, a waggler suspended in midair, and this dog's like, wow, it's amazing, I want to catch it. So don't take him. That's the one way of doing it. Um, Bart, good to see you. Stephen Dawkins, got your order. It's coming out, man, it's coming out. Um, smoking's bad for you, but not if you're making baits. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man, just don't, don't take the dog. Um, right, well, oh, I did it last time as well. Uh, the promo code, the promo code for 10% off of any custom lure, uh, is live stream, all lowercase, all one word, five, L uh, number five, live stream five. So use that, uh, get your orders in. I still have 30 litres of plastic. Um, we'll see how it, how it goes. I don't know if uh, I'll still be able to get some if that runs out, so this could be it. But 30 litres should last me another six weeks. Depends on you guys. Oh, okay, we've got some more questions. Uh, Paul Bickley, what's your go-to Xander lure? Right, I've actually got, doof, I did have, 
Let it all go. Um, two seconds. Okay, so this is out of my bag. Everyone asks about tackle boxes. That's my tackle box. Um, that's my Junebug tackle box, which is a Guru Fusion 110. Which is really good. If you know what colour you're going to get, and you can get lots of that one colour, then that's all I do is so keep them in there. Uh, the go to lure for Xander. I'm not a great Xander fisherman, um, but most of the Xander I've caught have been on that FFS. Um, either Texas or on an open, and in that colour. I call it the trues, it's uh, lime trues top, chartreuse bottom. Um, there we go. And they just like it where I fish, they do like it. Um, I know that guys have fished some of the reservoirs and it's a good colour there. Um, over in Belgium, I've actually had more on um, red signal, so uh, a brown top and a red bottom. Um, they love them out there. They also like uh, very natural colours in very dirty water, which goes against everything that I ever thought. Um, so yeah, that's my go-to colour for the Xander. Um, although I think that uh, a lime trues finesse fry is also good. Um, what seems to be more, um, Jimmy <laughs> replied to me. Yeah, there you go. Questions answered. Xander finesse fry, um, natural colours in the in that's uh, Jimmy's over in Belgium and he's done awesome in all the sizes. So even on a two inch, he had. I think it was an 85 centimetre uh, Xander on a two inch finesse fry in dirty gold. Who knew? Uh, do, 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 do. Let's, I'm just going to go back and make sure there's no questions I've missed. Um, let's have a look. Have you looked at cool shot? Yeah, done that one. And, uh, yeah, good, 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 good. Uh, what kind of letters would you have meant for? Yep, done that. Uh, right, so this is going back to the combo of uh, grants. Why was it such a pain in the ass to do? It used, uh, it wasn't really a colour, it was an idea. So when you've got two guys trying to work out an idea, I'm trying to work out what I think that the customer wants and then what the customer wants is what they want. The grant was really good with this, so thank you very much. Um, but I wasn't happy with them. So the, the task was set and it took a long time for me to get a bait that I wanted to send out. Um, that was why it was really a pain in the ass because it wasn't, it was really blending lots of colours, it was powders, it was what glitter to put in, how much to put in, um, and then when it came to shooting it, and again, if you get it wrong, then if you add powder, that, uh, that plastic is now thicker, so you've got to make it hotter to make it the same viscosity as the other plastic without it. Um, and it can go horribly wrong, and it did. And, and I, I do get baits which I, I, I just hate. They just they kill me. Um, I get them out in the end, but it's uh, it's tough at the time. You're just thinking, oh, there goes another bunch of plastic. There goes another bunch of plastic, and and it's just um, it just is what it is. You know, when you when you trying to make someone's ideas come to life, it, it's 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 not always easy. So um, yeah, cool. Down to the seconds box. What are the two vessels where your microwave used to be? Uh, ah, okay, so you, if you're talking about this, that's the shooting star. Uh, basically, it takes a lot of plastic 
Um, that's the stirrers on top. So when I'm doing big shop orders, I use the shooting star because I can cook up two litres of plastic, put all my colour in, it stirs it up, it heats it up, keeps it constant, and you just shoot and shoot and shoot. Um, probably have to turn off that notification because those guys, they don't leave me alone. Um, and then, yeah, got that, got that, got that. How's he going to get your? Yeah, those lures are for for cats. So cat, when you do watch this, we're thinking about you. Um, right, I think. Um, yeah, so Peter, Peter out in Belgium, he's he's caught uh, some really a lot of Xander on uh, FFS. Um, really go well for the Reds. So the Visas X and the uh, Red Signal. Um, and, and the natural colours in the fly, so the, the original colours, uh, it's what they go for. Right, so that is that. I think that's been awesome. I really enjoyed doing these. Uh, it will be uploaded to uh, YouTube, so when you do watch it on there, subscribe, leave a like, do all that stuff that they say on all the videos that we watch. Um, I'll try and build that channel as we go. Uh, look out for the future, so I'll put some more um, I put these up on on Instagram, uh, so you can see them. Uh, I do some photography with them. That's really fun as well. Uh, and go from there. So, thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. Stay safe. Stay away from each other. See you next week. Till then.